R98C Ray Sundancer is equipped with a power windlass, which is operated by two foot pedals at the bow of the boat. Now I'm going to show you how to service them if they're causing you any grief. Our boat came equipped with a factory installed low frans windlass, which is operated with two foot pedals at the bow of the boat. One operates it to drop the anchor and the other one is to retrieve the anchor. Now after a few years of service, those things can start to act up, but in most cases it's a simple repair. The issue that we were having was one of the foot pedals was operating intermittently. Now having had a similar experience on our last boat, I knew what to do to fix it. Now these switches are operated as most switches, simple connect or disconnect. So when it's connecting across the elements, it's going to uh, let the power flow through, which will operate the motor in this case, which is the windlass. So what can happen is after a number of years of the switch being engaged and disengaged, it can start to arc across the switch and that little washer that you see there which completes the circuit. So it's just a matter of taking it all apart very carefully. I sanded down that little washer, I sanded down the connections inside the switch. Of course always remember to turn the power off at the breaker before you start playing with these things and then put it back together. Now the one thing is you got to be really really careful when you're taking that thing apart because there is that tiny little spring when you take that rubber piece off the deck, when you take the screws out, lift it up. If you're not careful, it'll go bing, and it'll fly all over. And you know, if it flies too far, it's gonna land in the water and you will be using some curse words. So just open it up very slowly, very carefully. Don't let any parts fly away. Don't let them fall down into the hole of, of the deck wherever your switches are gonna be located. And um, just pay attention as to how it all goes back together. It's really simple. It's just a little bit of farting around and you know trying to keep it all together in your hand once you're putting it back together. But like I say, once I had it all sanded down and cleaned up, just get rid of all those arc burnt marks that were on it. I uh, put a little bit of dielectric grease across it and carefully put it back together. Put all the screws back on and voila, it's fixed. So anyways, that's that. Hope you enjoyed that one. Again, hopefully you learned something and I would encourage you if you want, if you haven't subscribed already, please do it. I would really, really appreciate it. And uh, check down in the description, there will be a link to my entire playlist of how I did it, boat repair videos. And let me underline the how I did it because it's how I do things. Not Again, not necessarily the right way, the only way or the best way, but it's my way and it works for me and that's why i'm sharing it with you because uh, if it wasn't working i wouldn't show it to you so anyways that's it like I say hopefully you uh enjoyed that learned something and we shall see you on the next one my friends cheers